Hey, it's Mike Davis with Brookside in Austin, Texas, where we help you find the best path to the cloud for voice, chat, video, and contact centers. Today, I want to talk to you a little bit about Microsoft Teams. Out of nowhere, it seems like Microsoft Teams has become something that's used on almost everybody's desktop. It's a popular productivity tool that gives you cloud-based chat, meetings, and collaboration. Keyword there is cloud-based. That's right. The number of active daily users with Microsoft Teams products has doubled from more than 32 million in March of last year to 75 million in April of this year. That is huge. I mean, but is Microsoft Teams and the platform it runs on, Microsoft 365, formerly Office 365, is it reliable? Is it secure? These are things that we want to talk about. So Down Detector is a real-time problem-solving and out outage monitoring a website where you put in the name of any of your providers and it tells you how often that, you know, they're having problems or they're down. And you can look at certain periods of time and go back and see when things were happening and, you know, and, and really tell a lot about what's going on with the performance of your system. So when we start looking at Office 365, it's had a lot of problems. It's a cloud-based solution. It does all your office stuff, but it also has Microsoft Teams. In it. it used to have Skype for Business and Link and some of the other things that Microsoft has used over the years for phones, but today that's where Teams is. So as you see, we have similar problems you know, with Teams. So you see a lot of outages there. It actually, when it's yellow and comes up, it means there are problems right now at Microsoft Teams. So we look at them side by side, both 365 and Teams are both having problems as we speak. So that's not so bad, but when you compare it to other companies in this space that are doing voice and doing video and doing these communication, you know, companies like eight by eight, zero problems. I mean, it's crazy, my tell. Zero problems. You know, I mean, you compare it to teams, it's, it's, it's pretty interesting, uh, you know, what the, the difference is there. You, you look at, you compare it to Zoom, though, and once again, we're back up to a lot of crazy looking spikes on issues and problems that are having to be dealt with technically. So these, these solutions, while they're easy to play, you know, to use and they're free and all this kind of stuff, they may not be the best solution for your business and it may, your, your users may be suffering as well. And we have a much better idea on how to be able to use teams for what it's good for. And then on the voice side, use eight by eight. So when we talk about eight by eight voice for Microsoft Teams, we're talking about a solution that basically is called eight by eight voice for Microsoft Teams. <laughs> well, that's creative. So the way it works today, when we start taking a look and most of the people I've talked to, and I've talked to a lot of people about this, they have Microsoft Teams in their offices. Basically, a lot of people are set up where they have a phone on their desk that has nothing to do with Microsoft Teams. So they've got an Avaya, they've got an NEC, they've got a Cisco, you know, or, or they've got a Shortel or maybe a Mitel. These are legacy phones with legacy hardware, uh, you know, and they're that are all connected. They're costing you money for lines, maintenance, software assurance, all those things. And they're using Teams completely independent. So Teams is used more for internally, and these phones are used for external calls. So what happens with some people, they've already journeyed into the cloud and they've already got some Polycom phones or they've got some Yealink phones or they've got Cisco phones that they've already purchased that are part of another solution that let's just say didn't work out. So what happens, you can reuse these phones uh, on the Microsoft Teams platform uh, with the 8x8 voice for Microsoft Teams integration or you can buy new ones or you can you know, basically rent them. So what happens is at the end of the day, I don't know that you actually everybody needs a phone. It's kind of the trend that's going towards. So 8x8 voice for Teams gives you an all-in-one solution that integrates 8 by 8 enterprise voice network uh, with Microsoft Teams via direct routing. So that means you can make and receive calls, internal, external, do video meetings, chat, task management, everything from within Teams. All you need is a headset. Just add a headset and you're making and receiving calls via Teams, uh, I mean, via 8x8. So the users never leave Teams. So it's very easy on the users. It's very easy on the admin people to set up. And it's something that where, where it's all going. So basically, 8x8's platform is open so users can connect and communicate using any device, whether it's a physical phone, eight, the 8x8 eight work app, or mobile client in Teams. Uh, all are simply managed through an 8 bay customer portal so you can see comprehensive analytics on every customer employee interaction for your entire business. So, so in a nutshell, we would use Microsoft Teams at the end of the day for video meetings, chat, file storage, and task management. And then we would use 8 bay for anything that had to do with voice. Uh, you know, anything where we're needing to go to the public, tele uh, public services telephone network and have enterprise voice where we can call into as many as 47 different countries. Free calling into 47 different countries is huge. And there's 8 by 8 applications integration so that there's contact center solutions that are, you know, leading edge 
Uh, there's, you know, speech analytics to, to listen to and use AI to, to, you know, basically figure out everything going on in your call center and, and, and basically provide a customer journey analytics with let everything know with that customer every time they to touch him or talk to them. And like I said, it uses hardware and software phones and, they, and every user can use either what's in teams. They can use the eight by work client, whatever they want to use to be able to communicate. It all works like that. And it's slick. So at the end of the day, eight by voice for teams allows users to communicate on a single communications platform for everything, whether they're in teams or not, which is pretty cool. So essentially cloud sync allows the two to know what they're doing through the cloud. Nobody else really has this. Everybody's using a third party box to be able to make teams talk to their solution, which is, squirrely and kind of old school, but this is reliable, secure voice that's connected to Teams. The Teams extensions are just become extensions off the eight by eight PBX is all that's going. And then they have an unlimited calling plan that goes to 47 countries. So imagine that, I believe 38 of those countries, they can have a local dial tone number in there, which is kind of slick too, all part of your monthly fee. So you can invite everybody to work securely with chat, meet, call, collaborate, all in one place, no matter where you are, and use the Teams or use the eight by eight client. So at the end of the day, what we've got is a cloud-based solution. It's a multi-tenant cloud service with zero hardware, zero software cost, simple administration, single lot. It's a single sign-on for everything. Even if you got Salesforce teams, it's a single client. I mean, that's, that's huge. They use native integration. So there's no clunky bots or apps or browser extensions or all this stuff that can be kind of a maintenance nightmare for the IT guys and possibly have a negative uh, effect on the, Trump, uh, on, the, on the team user experience. So, and because they made integrates with the phone system via direct routing, there's no change to the team's user experience for making and receiving calls. None, there's no change. So users never leave Teams, never know who 8x8 is and, and using their cloud to cloud native integration with, with the session border controllers, it's, uh, you know, it's registered as an extension off of the 8x8 phone system more or less, which is in the cloud. Then, like I said, you've got PST and local presence in 38 countries with unlimited calling plans into 47. That's pretty huge on their reliable network. It's got, you know, service level agreements, SLAs on it and everything. So the best part too also is eight, eight by eight, because it has everything that Teams pretty much has in it, can be a complete backup to Teams. So in the event that Microsoft 365 with Teams goes down again, and it will, they've got something that they can, you know, just open up a different app and you're back to, you never miss a beat. So that app is called eight by eight work. How creative is that, right? It's basically a mobile app for voice, video, chat, and contact center solutions. So it does everything from this app. Uh, it's a perfect backup solution, like I said, to Microsoft Teams and to uh, Microsoft and Office 365 in the event something were to happen, like it did the other day. So, like I said, their, their app does everything, whether you use it or not. Um, it makes it receive calls, join video meetings, chat with colleagues, do everything anywhere on any device. Um, and, and most people go this route where there's no hardware phones. They're just every, they're ready to use whatever device they want to use when they want to use it. But if you still want hardware phones, okay, Karen, we'll get you one. So Polycom, Cisco, Yealink, any of these phones, they will all work. They're SIP phones. They'll work industry standard phones. You'll have the client, but you'll also have a phone. It'll ring both places and, and work accordingly. So you can either purchase or rent new SIP phones, or you can reuse your existing ones. So the new SIP phones look like this. These are the new Polycom phones, the 150, the 250. You, know, you can get these for just a few dollars a month. They'll add it to your, your bill. Um, 350, it's kind of, kind of like cell phones in Apple. 350 and the 450, as you know, more buttons and bigger displays as you get bigger. And then of course they've got the CCX line now, which is a, a media phone, believe it or not. So. 8Bay doesn't sell these, but they support them. There's a whole line of phones that come out that are certified for Microsoft Teams. It's the 400, there's the 500, and then you got a 600 and a 700. It gives you the full-blown Teams experience within the phone. Then there's speaker phones. You know, they, the, the latest is the Trio IP speaker phones. These are awesome. They're very easy to use with touch screens. You've got uh, the old school Polycom phones. They also are compatible with the eight by eight solution. Once again, it, it integrates the teams. So if you've already got some of these phones, then we're in good shape. Or <clears throat> if you got one of these speaker phones, or you've got these old Polycom Soundpoint phones, any of these will work with the current solution. So also Cisco, Cisco's another line of phones that will work. So they've got the newer ones they can convert to SIP. These are some of their existing SIP phones that they have out there in the field. You may have some of these, these will work with the current situation with eight by eight and uh, <coughs> Microsoft Teams. So there's conference room phones and everything. Yealink, same thing, a very cost-effective, very colorful, fairly inexpensive solution for both the desktop and the conference room, 
all those phones will you can purchase, rent, or use existing on the new solution. So essentially, what I like about Eight by Eight, they've got it all. I mean, they you know it's one one login to get analytics, voice communications, video conferencing, uh, enterprise contact center, which is huge, and then it, those single digit or just click one click integration into things like uh, you know Salesforce and G Suite, Zoom. Um, you know, and, and, you know, NetSuite, all those things are just very easy. So that you get a single login for secure and reliable voice, chat, video, and contact center from one company with 8 Bay, which is truly unique. Uh, Brookside, of course, we're the one that brings it to you. We're the best, we help you find the best path to the cloud for talk, chat, video, and contact centers. Like I said, uh, we're considered unified communications specialists, more or less cloud specialists. We help you find secure and reliable business communication tools that work on any device, anywhere. I've got decades of experience working with phone systems, call centers, video conferencing, connectivity, and can sell pretty much any brand. Uh, we free up IT by taking the phone and collaboration responsibility pretty much off their plate so that, you know, everything from solution design to contracts to implementation, all is managed by Brookside with the vendor you select actually paying for it. <laughs> it's pretty different. So like I said, we, you know, we have a website that, that brooksideus.com uh, on that. I've got a tab for Microsoft Teams. If you're using Teams and you want to go in there, you can poke, poke around. There's, you know, there's eight by eight and how they work, you know, with their, their call center with Teams, how they work with their analytics, Salesforce integration, um, Zoom integration to Teams, nice in contact, talk desk, you know, Mitel, they're all, you know, part of the, the team's experience. So these are all things that would help you in looking at getting the most out of your team's experience. So, like I said, we're Brookside Cloud and Connectivity Solutions uh, here in Austin, Texas, um, www.brooksideus.com.